All right. So a couple of days ago, I created a video about using cloud AI to kind of make a web app from scratch, even without any coding knowledge. So if you haven't already watched that video yet, I'll leave link to that in the I button above, just so you can go check them out yourself. So one important thing that I missed in that video is cloud AI artifacts. So back then I thought this artifacts feature was only for pro users or paid premium subscribers of uh, cloud AI. And it seems like it's a free feature and it's available for pretty much everyone. So today in this video, I'll explain how to use cloud AI artifacts and how to enable it on your account. And also explain what exactly it is. And we'll also create a simple landing page and also a game using cloud AI artifacts. So let's get started, shall we? First, let's try to understand what exactly is Cloud AI Artifacts. Artifacts in Cloud are dedicated window that displays substantial standalone content generated in response to a user's request. So alongside the actual text response, now Cloud will also show you some additional content. So in case if you ask Cloud to generate a bunch of code, right? If you ask it to generate a website, along with the textual content, now Cloud will also actually run that particular code for you and show you the final output. So back then, if you had it, if you had to create a website, all you have to do is to go ahead and ask Cloud AI for the code, and then you will have to go ahead and copy the code and paste it somewhere in a IDE, and then you will have to run the project to see the output, right? And now with Artifact, you can run the code within Cloud's UI without even having to leave the platform and test all the code and make additional changes all within Cloud's UI. So we'll see more about that in a second. So let's first see how to enable Artifacts on your Cloud AI account. To enable Artifacts, just log into your Cloud AI account and click on your profile here, click on your email, and click on the option that says Feature preview and now you have to click on this option that says artifacts and make sure it is enabled right here so once enabled you can close this window and you can start using artifacts within cloud ai so at first let's try to create a landing page for a website so i'll paste a prompt something like create a landing page for my web development agency include some animations on mouse hover and graphics svgs to make the website look modern and sleek fill in some dummy content and make the website a couple page longer so let's just send it and see what this cloud comes up with and how artifacts will look like in this context so let's wait and as you can see this thing right here says that it's using artifacts and now you can see the textual response is over to the left side and on the right side you can see cloud is actually generating the code and once it generates the code it will actually show you the output on the right side as well so let's wait for that one all right so cloud has basically created the code or generated the code for the entire website and now you can see the output in real time as well how cool is that right so to the top you can see two options that is preview and code and when you are on the preview tab you can go ahead and actually visualize and see the actual demo of the code generated by the ai so this is the landing page that ai created for our web development agency and as you can see when i hover over these card elements right we have a subtle animation effect which we actually included in this uh, prompt here uh, yeah right here include some animations on mouse hover okay so that feature is right here so further you scroll down we have some portfolio section with some nice animations and stuff like hover effects and stuff and at the bottom we can also see a footer section as well and if you click on this option that says code if you move to the code tab you can actually see the source code of this particular landing page and now we can go ahead and copy this one and maybe uh, use it in a real project or paste it in your IDE and make changes and all stuff like that so that's how you use uh, cloud AI artifacts to create a landing page all right, now let's just try to create a simple snake game using Cloud AI artifacts. So I'll give a simple prompt, something like create a simple snake game that I can play in a web browser. And let's see what it comes up with. And yes, it's generating the code for the game in HTML, CSS and native vanilla JavaScript. So let's wait for it to complete coding the same. All right, it's done. So let's try to play this game. Uh, let's click somewhere inside. All right, okay. It's actually kind of working. And as I eat the apples, you can see the score increases and it works. Now let's just take it to the next level and kind of uh, try to make it a little better. So I'll just go ahead and say something like add a head, a head to the sneak and make the red box look like an apple and show some instructions before we begin the game all right let's just hit enter and the cool part about this one is that when you make subsequent changes to the same code uh, you know cloud will take all the previous code into account and make modifications to the same and display the updated code in the artifact section and you can also go back and click on this arrow button here and go back and view all the previous codes as well. So let's just wait for it to complete coding this snake game with all the modifications that we asked for. 
all right the changes have been made and now we can see an instruction even before we start the game so it says use the arrow keys to control the snake eat apples to grow and increase your score and don't hit the walls or walls or yourself yeah otherwise we'll get you know game will get over right so we'll go ahead and click on the start game option and let's start playing and see if it works and the ui kind of looks good now you can see two eyes for the snake and also the apple looks a little bit realistic now even though it looks like tomato it's still apples i guess all right so let's just try to play it and it is working fine and let's just try to hit the wall once and yes the game is over and everything is working and this is how easy it is to use cloud ai artifacts to create simple landing pages or simple browser games and you can go ahead and further add more instructions to maybe add more features you can ask it to have like a really cool background and stuff actually let's try it so we'll go ahead and say something like add some cool backgrounds and colors to make the game more interesting and let's see what it comes up with all right so now we have an updated version and it has a nice background color and this box has a glowing effect and the button is now red so let's just go hit the start button and this now looks far way better we have some kind of moving animation animated background and the color of the apple and the uh, snake is also different this time and it works and you can see a score to the top and it works okay let's just try to hit ourselves and oh let me grow a little bit bigger okay let's just try to hit and let's see if the game ends yes so when you hit yourself the game just ends and that's how simple it is and now if you want to uh, see the code for this one you can go ahead and click this option that says code and view the entire source code for this game and if you want to download it you can go ahead and click this option that says download to file and it will save us an html file so you can go ahead and open it in a new tab you can just go ahead and host it somewhere and the game should work just fine so let's see and yes it works here as well oh when you open it in browser it actually gives you a prompt as well like a alert window saying if this is your score and the game is over cool so yeah that's pretty much it and that's how you can use cloud ai artifact to kind of create a web page or a simple game and demo it right within cloud's ui and you can make back and forth changes and you have it or download the html file and you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this cloud ai artifacts i hope you found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one